Hello, my name is Sidi Missy Ululade. I'll be explaining and applying relevant um, theories in relation to communication that can develop professional relationship and facilitate collaborative working. Firstly, what is communication? Communication is the exchange of ideas between two people. It is also believed that communication is the key to personal and uh, career success. Before there's com before there will be a communication, there should be an idea to be generated. There should be a message to be passed on. And this message must be understood by the receiver. That is why it is believed that communication is in two ways. And we have um, different model of communication. We have the linear, the transitional, and the interactive uh, models. Um, the linear model talks about one-way communication. And uh, we have the likes of uh, Aristotle's, we have uh, Shannon, we have Shannon, we have last well they all belongs to the model of uh, uh, they all belongs to linear model we also have the other um uh, models they are they all work so they are all, they are all interwoven they, they 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 build on each other to have an effective communication and for there to be an effective communication we have to observe all the principle, the principles of communication. What are the principles of communication? Your communication must be simple, must be clear, must be um, well understood, must 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 be transparent and trustworthy. That that means the source of the information must be trustworthy. That brings about to my own belief. Looking at all the models. I, will, I, I I choose the Shannon model that talks about the uh, one way that there should be a, re a receiver, a, there should be a sender and there should be a receiver. When we're talking about uh, communication theories, communication theory is a complex one. But we talks about going deeper than just passing a message. Communication theories make us to um, believe uh, make us to understand the other factors that we need, you know, to understand before we can actually, you know, build on effective communication. It talks about the barriers of communication, the noise. It talks about the age, the religion, the the the, uh, uh, the background of the person we are passing the information to. That is just the main. A basic reason why we have all these theories all you know built together after as an as as a communicator you if you understand all the theories of communication you will have an effective communication that brings about the importance of communication why do we need communication communication is very important for our organizational growth is important for relationship is important for we to build trust it is true communicate effective communication will be able to like um, plan we will we'll be able to obtain we, we obtain information for our sources for organization sources we need communication because it is through this communication medium we de generate uh, emails we pass on information from one organization to another organization we we pass information within the, an organization and outside an organization, and including the relationship, that's the family relationship. Effective communication builds a strong family, and the same applies to organization setting. For a nursing um, um, 
for a, a, a nurse, a support worker, healthcare practitioners. We all need effective communication for us to work together, for us to you know, have a, to build trust with one another, for us to be able to understand our management system, for us to be able to um, come together and work as a team. Effective communication is very important. For example, um, we have um, inter, in, in, inter organizational um, um, believe we have interorganizational um businesses here and there without effective communication we can build a strong foundation without effective communication we can actually you know be successful as the as the word implies it, it, it says is the key to success for we to have that strong team for we to have that um professional relationship with one another effective communication must be in place we need effective communication after having understanding of all the models of how to you know generate our ideas of how the reason why we are generating this idea the reason for passing this information if you know all this and we put them into place we will have effective communication and we'll be able to determine our employee it also helps our you know to de determine how to motivate our empl employees, we areas to em you know to help them, the areas to to build their relationship, the areas for them to have trust with us. If we have effective communication, we pass on information from one person to another. There, where there's no, where, where there's transparency in, in communicating. Then we have. A strong team will have a strong team will have a professional development there will be a relationship even outside the organization thank you hi my name is Elian Kimana I'm going to explain and apply relevant theories in relation motivation and teamwork that can develop professional relationship and facilitate collaborative working Motivation plays a crucial role in, in the health and social care settings directly impacting job satisfaction and performance. The well-known theory of motivation is the master hierarchy of needs. According to this theory, motivation arises from the five satisfaction of five basic needs, physiologic, safety, love, belonging, esteem, self actualization. According to this theory, workers in the health and social care sectors need to feel appreciated and respected by their co-workers, feel comfortable and secure in the workplace, and have a sense of belonging. The two-factor theory of Herzberg. According to this motivation is influenced by two different kinds of factors, motivators and hygiene factors. Certainly, jobs such as stability and working environment are examples of hygiene. This theory contains that workers' working circumstances must be acceptable in the context of health and social care. Self-determination is the safest when individuals feel motivated. To apply this theory, healthcare managers can foster motivation by cultivating a work environment that supports professional development, provide autonomy and recognize employees' achievements. Teamwork theory. According to this theory, people become motivated when they think their effort will result and in a desirable consequence. This idea can be used in the health and in the healthcare industry by making sure staff members have the tools and assistance they need to succeed. Goal settings theory. This idea contains that having specific objective to strike to strive towards increased motivation in individuals. This approach can be used in the healthcare industry by having teams and individuals create smart goals, specific specific measurable achievement relevant and time-bound. Equity theory. According to John Adam, 1963, 
People become unmotivated when they believe they are re receiving fair treatment. This principle can be used in the healthcare industry by making sure that workers receive fair compensation. The workload, the workload are located appropriately and the opportunity for professional development are provided. By applying those motivation theories, healthcare professional relationship can develop professional relationship and facilitate collaborative working, which can ultimately and approve workplace moral. Thank you. References are provided. Hi everyone. My name is Darush Rezai. My student uh, ID is N4137-1723. Model name uh, Collaborative Working and I'm going to present about conflict management theory and then uh, talking about poor ineffective relationship and impact uh, uh, to the, our job or our uh, um, organization. How does it impact? Uh, conflict management theory. Conflict, ma conflict management theory is the path that will bring us to closer to solving the problem, to the positive result, we say the maximum and the negative result decreases. In the first step, we should remember about that the all conflict doesn't have the uh, does uh, all conflict not uh, uh, can be solved. But learning how to control the conflict can reduce the possibility of the repeating the behavior of people who have not yet appeared. Conflict management will help us to develop the skills related to conflict resolution and identifying situation to learn about the conflict. Finally, create the structure to manage the conflict in our own environment. In fact, all members, all uh, of the organization should know way to minimize their conflict. Poor ineffective relationship. So poor ineffective relationship, how does it impact our job? How, uh, what is the negative size and positive size? Relationship has almost hard impact on any business field. When we work in the one group or one uh, organization, poor ineffective uh, relationship caused the, the team to leave the path of the success and their efforts uh, fail. This connection between the organization purpose and the daily operations. Ineffective relationship create the gap between the organization goal and the daily tasks. When people have unclear information about their role in the organization goal, they get confused and can do their daily responsibility probably. In the basin effective relationship, by eliminating this gap, it gives the assurance to these people, to the organization, that the tasks, they have a great impact on advancing the goal of the organization. Providing timely and correctly uh, information. The time and communication play important role in the success of the group and organization. When changes happen, we need to make a quick decision and the change uh, direction in a time. In the information, is not a great and timely, we will not able to follow the goals of the organization. For example, if there are several clients in the support home, there has been change in his daily schedule for one of them. If the management does not quickly inform the person who works with, with that patient in that day, it will be cause disruption 
and mis misunderstanding in, in, in this daily work for that client. We will see the desistification of this client. Next one is a giving, uh, giving uh, criticism and uh, comments to our members. Most of the time, group members do not uh, criticize their managers because they are afraid of the negative consequences because they believe that their opinion are not considered. Organizations should open the window for this so that all members have the possibility to summon opinion and they can uh, mention their opinion, their think what they are thinking about that. Next one is a creating accountability. An effective relationship can also cause the leak of the accountability in our organization and the group members. When members do not understand the primary uh, responsibility and the goals, they are not they are more likely to make a decision they are not match with the goals of the organization and the other group members. In the end, an effective relationship will precisely target the moral and motivation of the group and its cause distrust and frustration. So discuss uh, this distrust and frustration uh, will weaken the group. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Mambalo Margareta and I am here today to talk about the importance of developing professional relationships. By creating relationships at all, will make your job more enjoyable, more easier and also can make your team more productive. The professional connection you will make also will help you to innovate your career. Empathy is a cornerstone of any strong and healthy professional relationships. One more important thing, it is respect. Demonstrating respect can be earned in a number of ways. For example, by being honest, share your knowledge, treat one another as equals. And the benefits of the teamwork also include less overtime and higher levels of job satisfaction. For example, when healthcare providers work together, patient outcomes improve. Working as a team is always easier than working by yourself and you can learn from everyone something new and then you can improve your knowledge by sharing ideas with others. As a result, people experience less stress, more job satisfaction, better mental health and overall more positive. Thank you.